A good plugin can end up saving you time and the result, money. Here comes the money. Here we go. Or it can open up a new skill set that you can then charge for in the future. So I set out to buy, yes, buy five plugins to find out if they are worth remortgaging your house to afford them. Let's spend some money. <laughs> Let's fucking buy this bad boy. That's so expensive. <laughs> or if it's worth just getting for free by going to www. So with that being said, let us begin. This first plugin automates 90% of having to keyframe your movements. So you can do stuff like this, like this, if you're doing tutorials or whatever, and it just saves you so much time. And it's called Drag Zoom Pro, which was first shown to me by Pixie Perfect. And it completely replaced the need for me to even go into the effects control panel and do these zoom in things. I don't need to do them anymore. Thank God, because that process sucks. It's clunky and I hate it. Whereas this, I can literally just refresh the screen, zoom in, and I can choose to have motion blur, or I can choose to have the keyframes be eased in. And I can already hear you DaVinci Resolve users screaming because you guys have a similar thing but go away go away and not only that it has a memory so you can redo movements you've already done over and over again saving you even more time and because it's such a big time saver this one gets five out of five clocks the next plugin is great if you have an 8-bit color camera. When you start to color grade it and push the colors, they look like this, all muddy and disgusting. The plugin is called Neat Video. Now, I purchased this a long time ago before AI plugins like Topaz Video Labs came out. And this thing is amazing. It's one of the best noise reducing plugins out there. It's better than, than the native one that Premiere Pro has. You can actually select the area that you want to remove the artifacts or the grain from and it makes it look mwah. This is a shot beforehand that I filmed and this is after with the neat video plugin. I mean, that's just, that's crazy. It looks like I shot this on a higher end camera, which is insane. Not only that, you can add sharpening and it's just perfect. I've used this for all of my projects. In fact, I am actually using it less because I'm using Topaz Video Labs just because it does a whole lot more than just denoising it, it makes things appear that weren't there before but that's a different story it's actually more affordable than topaz labs plus if you're shooting at like 120 fps in low light conditions this thing just oh makes it look beautiful now the only thing with neat video is that it's very taxing on the computer sometimes when you do these denoising and then you add motion blur or you add color grades on top of things it can crash your computer when i did this aston martin commercial video i use neat video on a lot of the shots because i shot them vertically I had to zoom them in so it was grainy but I removed the grain. Regardless, it, oh, the amount of crashes was so unreal. So for that reason, Neat Video gets 3.5 out of 5 noises. <laughs> Good plugins can also help you level up a skill that you didn't have before and were not previously able to do, such as color grading. Now everybody knows Premiere Pro's color grading features are ass. And I can see all you DaVinci Resolve users rolling your eyes. But when I purchased Cinema Grade, that's where things absolutely changed. Cinema Grade is such a great plugin for Premiere Pro to do color grading. Forget about DaVinci, honestly, just forget about it. They can go with it. This plugin takes the clunky Lumetri color panels and makes it super easy to use. Great UI system. It makes color grading fun. You can change the hues just by dragging and you can go from color correcting to adding a lot to all of your shots really easily. And it's also pretty affordable. Yeah, this one is 100% worth the money, especially if you do a lot of color grading. There's no point in sticking with Premiere Pro with the clunky Lumetri color. Cinema Grade has changed the way that I color grade my videos. Although, however, especially with the client work, I don't really do a lot of color grading. I haven't been able to use it as as much recently but i guess if you're a color grader it works really well so for that reason i'm gonna give cinema grade 4.2 out of 5 grades and even though i can now track my progress with color grading better there's only one thing that we can't do in premiere pro and that is motion tracking which it's still such a piss take. Why does Premiere Pro not have it built in? Why do I have to always go to Adobe After Effects to do a tracking of some simple tech? Come on now, like it's 2023. Every other software has it. Well, I can sit here and complain or I can just purchase Boris Mocha Pro. It allows me to natively motion track things. When I track this icon onto my head, it allows me to track things to walls. It's so much easier than having to go into After Effects. I don't want to cut the flow of creativity by going into another software. It also helps you with masking things out. Is the whole Mocha suite inside Premiere Pro and it works really well. It just opens up a brand new window. You can do your stuff and then you close it and it just works with Premiere Pro. And it doesn't slow down Premiere Pro because 
once you do all of that stuff, it's kind of baked into the shot, which is really nice. Now, this is quite an expensive plugin. You do make it back if you're doing a lot of client work, etc. And you can always expense it if you have a company. And yeah, After Effects comes with Mocha Lite, but again, like you have to go into another software. That's so long. Now, Boris Effects Mocha Pro has been a game changer, and I will literally I have no regrets buying this one. It's been great with it. And as a result, Boris Effects gets five out of five Boris's. AE Juice. What's great about AE Juice is that it has all of these effects that you can literally just drag and drop built into Premiere Pro and as well as that Adobe After Effects. In fact, for one of my clients, DMS, I do this effect here with the text that's all from AE Juice and it's super easy to fix. And what I love about it is that sometimes when you have all these packs from different places, they can all get mixed up and muddled in. Whereas AE Juice has its own built in platform inside the software that you can just sign in, access, and you can access all of the packs that you've purchased from there. It's like going to a B and Q and having different effects to choose from. It's great. I love it. Another plugin that I love was the best purchase I ever made was Real Smart Motion Blur. Ever since I started doing the speed ramps, I started doing anything with motion graphics that needed motion blur. Built into Premiere Pro, I've used RSMB. Of course, you can open things in Adobe After Effects and add pixel motion blur or whatever, but that's so long, man. I swear, I hate that. That's such a long process. I'd rather just do it inside one software. And with RSMB, I've been able to do it. It's been great. RSMB has been a game changer to my videos. However, it is very taxing on Premiere Pro. Premiere Pro and RSMB be just like Ugh. it struggles a lot with rendering and i get a lot of crashes and it's so annoying as a result rsmb gets four out of five motion blows now the craziest expense that i have done in video editing was purchasing the red giant vfx suite that was when the money came out of the credit card i was like please accountant allow me i'm sorry if you want to be a visual effects creator, if you want to make some cool looking VFX, some next level edits, you're just going to have to get the Red Giant VFX suite. It has stuff like the chromatic distortion effect. It has great keying plugins. It's got honestly anything and everything for you to create amazing visuals. And you just literally can't recreate it with any free plugins out there unless you get this for free by going to that. Honestly, when I got this suite, I felt like Edward OV. And I felt like, wow, I just unlocked so many features and so many things that I can do with visual effects. However, it does take time to learn all of these things. So I have loads of great things to say about it. However, because it's quite expensive, because it's a subscription, so much to learn and so much time you have to spend figuring out how to use it. This one only gets two and a half out of five red giants now there's tons of plugins out there let me know in the comments below which plugin you want me to purchase and rate for you but until then if you want to know how to make this really cool distortion effect that i made with the red giant plugin you can check this video out here with that being said i'll see you in the next one